Hello everyone, Mr. Lipchick here, and our topic of discussion for this segment of instruction is corporations. Corporations. A corporation is a legal entity or being owned by individual stockholders. It faces limited liability for the firm's debts. And it is a legal, its legal identity is separate from those of its owners who are the shareholders. So juridically, or under the laws of our justice system, uh, they have the status of a person. Uh, however, there is a growing disenchantment with the power of corporations in the U.S. They are becoming very, very powerful. Corporations involve the issuance of stocks. Stocks, or shares, represent a stockholder's portion of ownership of a corporation. A closely held corporation is one in which a, pri is a privately owned corporation which issues stock to a limited number of people, usually family members. These stocks, uh, these owners rarely trade or sell their stock. And there are publicly held corporations, and this is a corporation that has many shareholders that buy and sell their stock on the open financial markets. That is the stock exchange. And there are government-owned corporations such as the post office. Uh, you know, of course, shares in the post office are not sold uh, as in a private corporation. However, it has a corporate structure in order to uh, help it manage itself better. Uh, there are also bonds that are issued by corporations. A bond is a formal contract to repay borrowed money with interest at fixed intervals. Corporations issue these to raise cash for their business. They are valued according to the likelihood that the corporation will be able to pay them back. <coughs> And like stocks, they are traded on an exchange. And later in the course, we will get into detail about bond trading. There are definite advantages to corporations for the investors. Individual investors do not carry responsibility for the corporation's actions. Investors have what is known as limited liability. That is, they can only lose what they have invested in terms of shares of stock. Shares of stock are transferable, which means that stockholders can sell their stock to others for money. And shareholders of stock can usually liquidate them for cash very quickly on the stock exchange if they need to. Of course, there are disadvantages of corporations. Uh, the difficulty and expense of startup are one. Corporations uh, are uh, very complex and very large organizations. Corporate charters can be expensive and time-consuming to establish. The state will issue you a charter, uh, giving you legal permission to incorporate. A state license, known as a Certificate of Incorporation, must be obtained to be considered a uh, corporation. Also, there is double taxation. Corporations must pay taxes on their income. As they are juridic persons, they have to pay taxes like a person. Owners also pay taxes on the dividends, or the portion of the corporate profits that are paid to them. Whether this truly constitutes double taxation is debatable. loss of control. Managers and boards of directors, not owners, manage corporations. More regulations must be dealt with. Corporations face more regulations than any other kind of business organization. And that is because of their size and their potential to do harm. 
there are corporate mergers. Sometimes corporations will merge together. A horizontal corporate merger combines directly competing firms producing and selling similar products. A good example would be Kmart and Sears, how they merge together. Okay, uh, and there are many other examples too. There are also vertical mergers. A vertical merger combines two firms involved in different stages of production of a good or a service. A uh, good example, Andrew Carnegie succeeded in the steel industry by vertically merging coal, iron ore, and finished steel industries. So uh, he bought the companies that mined the ore, he bought the companies that mined the coal. Uh, I probably left out the railroads, he purchased those also. Uh, and finally, the finished steel. Uh, there are also conglomerate mergers. And these combine three or more separately owned businesses operating in unrelated markets. <clears throat> An example, Procter & Gamble operates diverse group of companies ranging from baby products to dog food and coffee. and multinational corporations. Multinational corporation is a large corporation that produces and sells its goods and services throughout the world. They are often criticized for having too much power over small nations and av avoiding environmental and labor restrictions in the US by going overseas. They go to countries where the population can be sometimes egregiously exploited. Uh, De Beers, a South African multinational, has been highly criticized for selling diamonds mined at the expense of workers' rights. Call them blood diamonds. Uh, there are also business franchises. A business franchise is a semi-independent business that pays fees to a parent corp uh, company in return for the exclusive right to sell a certain product or service in a given area. McDonald's is probably the most well-known international franchise. Franchise owners get the benefits of a well-known product and support from the parent company. Disadvantages include having to follow company requirements and regulations. Companies are concerned about their brand. Uh, you know, you couldn't go introduce pizza or something like that in a McDonald's because that's not a part of their brand. You have to offer what they tell you to offer. There are also cooperatives, a, a form of business that is growing in popularity. And this is a business organization owned and operated by a group of individuals for their shared benefit. They're consumer-oriented, service-oriented, and uh, they also buy in bulk from the producer. Food cooperatives have become very popular by providing fresh, wholesome foods that are often not available through commercial grocery chains. And usually you pay a certain amount of dues every year and you're required to work in the shop uh, and help out for a certain number of hours to, in order to belong to it. There are also nonprofits. Nonprofit organization is an organization that functions like a business but does not make a profit. Most hospitals are nonprofits. Nonprofits usually operate in an effort to benefit society. And their accounting must show a zero profit at the end of the fiscal year. In other words, if they make additional money, they have to reinvest that into the business. Uh, they have to use it to make their services cheaper or provide additional services for people. That concludes our discussion of corporations. Thank you for your attendance, and I will see you in the live lesson. Have a great day. Bye-bye.